Hey everybody, Common Villagey here. Welcome back to Core Keeper. Well, I have been sitting here camping for quite a while. I got some wool, about 20 pieces or so. So today I can finally get started on some new armor for our character because we haven't upgraded our armor in quite a while. I did spend a good two or three hours just sitting there feeding that cattle and getting all his woolly goodness that I could get from him. And I think I at least have enough for the armor. It would be nice if I also had enough for the backpack upgrade. Oops. Once again, I went the wrong way. But, either way, we're back with another episode of Core Keeper. We are... We spent some time in last episode exploring the sea biome, the deep sea biome. I've forget the names of them of course whoa got some company over here there we go oh man this thing will blow up walls oops <laughs> I forgot about that there we go okay there we go Anyway, let's see here. Alright. But, I'm not entirely sure where we're going to go today. I thought about working on the base, but I, I'm not sure yet. Now, what do I have in here? Some bugs and stuff. I was feeding the strolly pulleys bugs and stuff like that to get their strolly pulley plates but I cease from doing that because I've decided to go with the octarine backpack ouch that hurt and now I'm on fire Ugh. so we will head back to the base and go ahead and get to working on our armor upgrades we're getting pretty close now We'll eventually have to do some work on the base if we don't do it in this episode. But to be honest, I'm not really quite sure what to do. I know one thing is for sure is that we need to find a way to smelt galaxite ores because with the current equipment I do have, it is not good enough to smelt galaxite ores. We can smelt octarine ores in the octarine bars but we cannot do the same for galaxite and we need galaxite for the galaxite workbench and other things that we may need down the road so let's see here i do yeah, yeah i did get some strolly pulley plates i've got 20 wool also well, we do have a bit of wool in here okay octarine we'll probably need that i don't know what else we need? We might need fiber. Let's go over here to our armor workbench and kind of compare 25, 12 armor, 19 armor. It's definitely a bit better than what we got. So, hmm. ooh. We could skip up a level though. We got plenty of octarine bars. Let's make us an octarine anvil. And I just want to check this out. We may not have the equipment that we need for our next uh, armor up, which requires. Oh, this doesn't even require cotton or wool really 
Oh man, that's a sword, all right. Octarine sword, octarine axe, octarine bow. Whoa, nice. Oh, we can grab this though. Octarine bag, good. We'll get one. And we'll put that one on. And now we got this whole bottom row here filled up. So we finally got a lot of uh, inventory space. I'm just going to check this in here for now. Anyway, real quick like I'm going to smelt this. It's not much, but might as well. Also, I do need to do some inventory sorting. But real quick, I'm just going to put a few things up. Just like some food and stuff that I was using to feed the cattle with. Alright, so instead of upgrading to Scarlet stuff, which is not bad, but since we already have a decent amount of gold, we might as well upgrade to octarine armor which in my opinion sounds a lot better we do need scarlet though let's get some scarlet don't have a ton of scarlet but we should have enough for the armor already does this do I actually have scarlet smelting no just some uh, well there's some more spare octarine I may have to do another scarlet run and get some more scarlet but uh, not a big deal right now all right, so we got this octarine helm. Oh, this increases mining speed. The octarine breastplate, which increases melee attacks. And the octarine pants, which um, increases range attack speed. Okay, nice. So we're going to grab these. Very nice. Still got a decent amount of resources left. Now we don't have nowhere near as much octarine as we have because because these require a lot of octarine, and then that makes a lot of sense as as why it, why it would require so much because it's armor pieces. I'm going to try to also reinforce these, and they just require octarine bars. Quite a few of them actually, but better to reinforce them that way they'll last longer. We'll put these in here. We don't need them anymore, so I'm going to grab these, put these on. All right, we're looking spiffy now. Wow, looks like we're a Cyclops, but it's a lot better protection than what we have. And we can just go ahead and scrap these. Okay, nice. Very nice. And we have got some new armor. Really cool. We're going to put some of this stuff up here mm, okay there's that still have quite a bit of wool left uh, but I don't know if there's anything we could actually use the wool for just yet but we'll save the wool in case there's something we can do with it I want to compare this sword to the battle axe the battle axe is still good and it has an extra attack so in my opinion it's better so we'll just keep it for now alrighty so there's that we got our armor very nice get some this tin out and put it up I guess I'm just trying to think of what to do next so I got a bunch of stuff here um let me get this out of my out of here just a bit of inventory sorting we'll put this milk in the food section I don't know where to put these bugs at but for now I guess I'll put them somewhere random but we do have a lot of uh, oh yeah I was had this to do some digging with let's see so we still have a lot to do I think I hit a lag spike for some reason We've gone quite quite a bit in this whole place through this playthrough. 
to different biomes. We've gotten killed a lot over here, of course, because it's one of the hardest places to go to. But I'm not entirely sure what we need to do. The only thing is we definitely need this octarine. Uh, we need this galaxite workbench because that way we will be ready for the next upgrades. There's also a fury forge which I may want to look into getting. I need to see what that is because if I can actually I think that requires this and this if I have enough. I'm running low on resources now but yeah let's get the fury forge. I don't know what it does. It's able to smelt. Oh there it is. I didn't even think about that. There it is right there. So hmm okay let's grab it. Alright and now let's see I'm gonna put this wool up. We'll put this over here. We are really low on materials now but we have a way now let me grab the ores wherever I put them hopefully somewhere where I will remember them maybe over here somewhere I had the galaxite ores oh I think I put them over here didn't I yes we will divide these up as best as we can okay well something like that oh wait we're not putting them over here <laughs> oh man we're actually we're actually gonna have to make some room for this thing because it is a big Hmm. A big little, not little at all, it's actually a big forge. So forget the whole split them up thing. There's that. These are going to take a while. But in order to get the next uh, workbench, not only are we going to need galaxite bars, uh, coral planks, I thought I had. Yeah, I got enough coral planks. But we may have to go back to the deep sea area and get some more octarine though. So I guess that kind of is kind of self-explanatory of where we need to go. We'll let these smelt up. It's as you can see, it's going to take a while. We need 40 to make the galaxite workbench. So there we go. Let's go get us. We don't need much. But I want to get at least 50 octarine. So let's go bed. Go ahead. If I can speak correctly. We will go ahead and uh, head back over here. I do need to try to spend some more time off camera. Working on stuff. Working on the base. Just basically getting rid of all these slime blocks. All the slimes. And basically having enough room. To work with. Especially now that our base has been expanded. So where were we again? We need to go all the way over here. Through the caverns, the abandoned places. And simply make our way to the west where the coast is. We got our boat so we'll be able to maneuver pretty fast in the water which will help out and I think this is the way I need to go if I'm not mistaken I definitely need more, more torches around here let's go up this way and see if we can cut around and get away from the bad guys okay there's that Okay, so, anyway, 
I'm going to come over here somewhere around here. I know we're getting close. But all we need is Octarine and we can have the best, I'm going to assume Galaxite is probably the best workbench in the game. If there's something better, I don't know where it's at. I know where Galaxite is and so we're going to assume that's the best. It could, there could be something better. That's great. But for now, we're going to just assume that Galaxite is the best. Alright, so let's get in here and let's just explore and see if we can find some more Octarine. Whoa, hey. Oh, hello. It looks like we have found something. I did not pay attention to this in last episode. Nor did I notice it. And I kind of wonder how dangerous it's going to be. But we're going to try this out. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Ooh. Okay, I guess it begins right here. Ooh. We've got ice mages or something golems or something oh are we in our, over our heads I think we are yes <laughs> oh ouch they still do quite a bit of damage those uh, squid thingies okay we're just simply looking for some octarine for now apparently <laughs> there is a lot more to this place than I had realized so anyway, let's get cooking here. Oh, we got more guys who don't want us here, but I have got you. Oh, these just make me move slow. Okay. I thought they harmed me in some way or another. Octarine, here I come. There we go. Alright. Well, there wasn't much to that. Oh wait, there's another one of these guys. Okay. Well, there wasn't much there, but you know. That's okay. We'll find more. There's plenty to be found. Actually, there's quite a bit over here. Alright. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need... I'm going to get a good 50 pieces, just in case we need more Octarine for anything else. I'm hoping one of my hopes for this new workbench is that we find a drill finally because with the drill we'll be able to I'm, I'm going to assume anyway I don't know but with the drill I'm going to assume that we can get infinite resources and not have to do all this mining and maybe even set up an automatic setup kind of like in games like uh, Craftopia and uh, what uh, Satisfactory and stuff like that where you can infinitely re uh, mine resources or at least mine a ton of them till it breaks. Not really sure how this game works in that department, but uh, we're going to find out eventually. Okay, here we go. Alrighty. Let's get back in here and get some more octarine. Got plenty of nodes around, so we might as well. Already halfway to our quota, so won't take that long. I think we're getting close to some more sea creatures, so got to be a little bit careful here. Okay, that 
was a good haul. I've already forgotten where I put my, oh, I know where I put my boat. My boat went in my inventory because I was busy mining and I was also tearing some things up at the same time. Okay, anyway. So, 19 more pieces. Might as well. There we go. Let's go down here a bit. Still quite a few places to explore. Oh, man. This game, I tell you, it reminds me of so many different games. Like, I've, I've kind of talked about this a little bit before, but like... Like, definitely older Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis games. It kind of reminds me of, uh... I've never really beat it, but I've played it a little bit. Uh, Soul Blazer. I think in Japan it was called Soul Blader or something like that. But just uh, has that kind of Square Enix... Well, back then... Uh, Enix was its own company, and then of course eventually Square Soft, and, or it used to be called Square Soft, and they, I think it was just called Square at one time. <laughs> I don't know the whole story, but anyway, I know that eventually they merged together, and now you have the more modern Final Fantasies and stuff like that. But Soul Blader was a really neat... Uh, game it was definitely I think it was part of a trilogy if I'm not mistaken there was uh, Soul Blader uh, Illusion of Gaia and some other ones like that and they were actually really good games I beat Illusion of Gaia simply because I had a guide <laughs> book that came with the game I bought I also had a t-shirt which was pretty cool I wish I would have kept that t-shirt. Illusion of Gaia. And then there was another one. But I've forgotten. I want to say it starts with a T. But I, I don't know the whole story. Behind that series. Kind of like with uh, Secret of Mana. How there. It's like Senke Denitsu or something like that. How it's a part of a series. It's like a. Yeah, there's a lot to it. There's so many games I haven't really played and beat, too, so there's really no telling. Okay, let's cruise around for some more Octarine. I know I have enough to get the workbench, but I just want to grab a few more pieces. Because if I need to up, uh, repair my pickaxe or something like that, then it's, it will help to have the resources and I may need to come back at another time anyway just to mine out first some other things that may come up maybe other recipes I may find that require octarine we simply just need more octarine <laughs> hmm well anyway what do we got here I don't know there's something in there, but it's just a little bit. Oh. Oh. Whoa. What in the world? You're a powerful monster. Whoa. Okay. Ouch. Oh, and another one over here. It's kind of cheap, though, because <laughs> I can just kill you like this. Ah. That kind of that makes it not even worth it. Alrighty. I was not expecting them. Oh, hey. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, good. We only need eight pieces. Let's head this way because it's closer to the entrance here. Might as well. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. There we go. 
go. We got our little box breaker here. Just need a little bit of uh, mock terrain, not much. Oh, hey, these are those uh, one type of slimes, aren't they? Oh, pretty powerful slimes there. I've forgotten what these are. Oh, the slippery slimes, huh? I may want, yeah. I don't think I've got the slippery slime ones. I got some of the poisonous slime thingies. I may want to grab some of these. Unless I've already got them, but whatever if I do, that's fine. I might have had the poisonous slime ones, if I'm thinking right. I just need a bit more octarine guys, and I'll be out of y'all's way. Okay. Where is my octarine? Yeah, see, there's even a big octarine node right here. Be good if I had a drill. Huh. So I'm hoping the drill is the next one up. Anyway, let's get out of here. There's quite a bit of bad guys over here. And no octarine to be found for the most part. Wait, what do we got here? Got a bunch of these tentacle guys again. Squid thingies. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh, of course it's guarded by these guys. Ouch. Oh, and they drop Octarine too. Cool. Here we go. This is enough. Alright. Awesome. There we go. And that is enough. Well, let's get out of here. So, anyway, let us head back to our base. I need to repair my battle axe and uh, we'll just basically reinforce them again. They've kind of worn down a bit. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, watch out there. Oh. Let's go around then. Can't tell exactly where I'm at. Oh, hello. Interesting. Okay, got another part here. What do we have here? It's probably more of the beach, I guess. Hmm. Oh, simply more of this stuff, I guess. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, more of the... I might want to grab a few of these here and there where I see them. Anyway. Let's head back. I think we're not... How, where are we exactly? Okay, we just simply need to go north, east, then... That's copper, huh, okay. Interesting. I might need copper for future projects. Already. Need a drill. Well, we're 
we're gonna go ahead and collect ores while we're here, because why not? Oh, big old gap there. Hmm. Whoa. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Hopefully I wasn't supposed to break that. I mean, hopefully I uh, breaking that wasn't a bad thing. <laughs> All right, how far are we along now? Okay. Okay, there we go. More iron ore. All righty. Might as well grab some iron while I'm at it. Alrighty, let's see where we at here. Okay, let's keep going north then. Alrighty, and yeah, we're close. But there is iron to be had at the same time. Okay. Forgotten ruins. Hmm. It's nice having all this inventory space for sure. Uh oh, got a couple of these guys. Gotcha. Okay. Just keep going and don't slow down. Alrighty. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, oh, let's get back to our base where hopefully our galaxite is melted by now. Or a good portion of it anyway, if not all of it. Alrighty. Hmm, this way. All right, now we're on the right path. Hmm, need some food. Well, I guess I'll eat some gooey pepper wraps and get them heat up. Since I don't have as many of those as I do the other ones. But we do got enough octane. We just need to smelt that. And I guess while we're waiting on that, we can kind of maybe take care of a few things around the base. Looks like our Fury Forge is still doing its thing. Oh, we only need two more. Only two more. Good. So, let's go ahead and come down here. Put about 15 in each one of these. We need about 30 of these. So, there we go. And we'll put you in there. Very good. And we also got some miscellaneous ores. Got some more iron. Got some gold. No, we can't do the gold over here. There we go. And nice. We just now we need. Uh, oh, I got a lot of this uh, stone. I'm going to put some of it up. There we go. Got a whole stack of stone wall now. Pretty nice. Hmm. So, what did we need for the next one? Okay, coral planks, 30 octarine bars. It's going to take a bit for the octarine to smelt, though. So, I say we'll get out our axe, we'll get out our shovel, and start killing some slimes and start uh, actually cleaning this place up a little bit while we're waiting. 
and also we might as well get some digging done kind of expanding her out got a lot of work to do so we might as well do a little bit at a time well I'm not trying to make it darker in here but whatever cool thing about this staff is it's easy to repair it only requires wood oh okay so it was just the poisonous slimes I do have some of these slippery slimes I want to put in here too so real quick like I'm gonna get rid of these slimes okay all right and now we'll have a slippery slime and a uh, poisonous slime farm going here we'll put some over here too there we go and might as well put them all down there we go very good so anyway let's do a bit more digging over here got a lot of uh, stuff here okay put that there dig down one and come across again got a lot of room now okay come across here already definitely clearing the place up a little bit already oh found a copper chest nice already just a sec here Okay, had to pause for a sec. So, got about 20 minutes left in this episode. I'm going to go ahead and get some digging done. Got a lot of work to do in this base. Not only digging it out, but also uh, digging some floor pieces out because we've got a lot of uh, water that I just want to turn into regular pieces of uh, flooring we need also need to find where those because uh, these uh, slimes are coming from somewhere oh they're coming from here that's where they're coming from well let's take a little time and we'll just uh, <laughs> might as well get some skill and range combat at the same time and kill the slimes and we'll kind of uh, get some uh, slime blocks taken care of got a lot over here we'll have to get get it all but we'll try to get some of it this is of course where we fought the boss would be cool if we could set up some kind of spawning pad to kill another one again later on okay Okay, let's go ahead and let's see. I think I just need to simply or to get up like that or something. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, why am I having such difficulty with this? Let's see here. But I thought I could dig it up with this for some reason. That's nah, not working. Yep, it's. Just gotta make sure to click one time. Got a lot of seeds and stuff. Heartberry seeds. Always useful. Okay. Anyway. I've forgotten where the borders of this thing is. Oh, right here. So we simply just want to get rid of most of this.
and then all we have to do is just eliminate the slimes nearby ah of course I don't want to dig those up because I want to get rid of the water I might leave a small like like this area out here is okay for like fishing and stuff but the other part is just simply the border to our base so I want to get rid of as much interference as possible we'll come up here real quick and take care of some of this ah. all right got some slimes wanting to kill me just the spiky ones of course the other ones are always peaceful until you mess with them but yeah Alrighty, got a lot of slime to deal with, but we're not going to get it all today, but I want to try to get as many of these little slime pads as possible. There we go, and we'll get these over here. Okay, and also I can go ahead and get out my stone wall and put this up for now I kinda use this to come through here yeah I'll leave it open for now there's that we'll go ahead and mine that and that okay get some slime then so anyway okay 43 Let's go over here and... Well, that was a bit laggy there for some reason. Uh, I'm just going to put some of these up for now. A little chests that don't really matter so much. Well, anyway, we should have enough Octarine now. And we do have enough Galaxite. And we... Uh, I don't think I got out the uh, coral planks just yet. Let's see here. There we go. There's all that. So now we can finally grab the Galaxite workbench. I'm going to put it over here by the Fury Forge because we are running out of room. <laughs> okay. So Galaxite turret, Galaxite anvil, go kart, workbench. Huh, whoa. Galaxite trap. But, but, uh... You can even make your fancy Galaxite base. That would be. I kind of like the way that looks, actually. But that would require a lot of Galaxite. Go-kart bench, huh. And a Galaxite anvil. Hmm. We definitely don't have enough Galaxite for that. A turret. I was expecting more. But, of course, oh man, I don't even have enough for the, the pickaxe, <laughs> which is insane. Well, there's that, I guess. My question is, where is the drill? Is it something we could have already had? Did I misplay something? Distillery table, got the boat workbench, and then we got... Wait, wait a minute. I'm missing something, aren't I? Let's go down here. Okay. There's that. We've got the jewelry. Buildings. Electricity generator. Pressure plate. Logic circuit. Hmm. Huh. Where is the drill? Am I not? I was really wanting that drill. <laughs> Man. How do I get the drill? That's what I want to know. Fast vehicles for your travels. Requires quite a bit of uh, resources. There's obviously something I haven't done 
yet. Yeah. Yeah, I am not sure what it is I need. Got wood cutting. Got potion crafting, a large bomb. And then we got the big boats, of course. But as far as uh, the trail goes, I'm not entirely sure. We have got what I'm assuming is the best workbench. Of course, we got a goat cart workbench, but I don't think that's the best. And we got the anvil. I wonder what the anvil might have, maybe. I'm just going to assume probably weapons and armor, though. But a drill. Is there some, maybe there was something over here? Just your basic building blocks, though. Hmm. A portal. <laughs> yeah. Jewelry. Hmm. I guess I'm going to have to look into the drill, I guess. I would like to have it to get a lot of resources. But how to get one? I don't know if you can actually build one or if you have to find one I don't know hmm. it is a mystery to me well I'm not sure music workbench automation table really automation table did I not even get this one yet you mean after all this time I didn't set up an automation table are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm beside myself. Okay, well, we just need a bit of tin and a bit of uh, copper. Let's get some tin. I think I got some tin. Yeah, there we go. I also got a quite an extensive inventory. Okay, here we go. Automation table. Really? Could we have already had the thing I'm looking for? Let's see here. I'm going to put this maybe here in case it needs power. Crude drill. Look at that. It's been there the whole time. Scarlet bar one. Wind powered with electricity. So simply it needs a motor like that. The motors aren't hard to make though. The motors require just some copper, so let's get some copper. I want to test this out, even if it's just basic materials like iron. Oh, mm, how much scarlet do we have? Not much. Ah, that sucks. Do we have any spare scarlet, maybe? Probably not. Got a lot of tin. Well, Let's just start off for now with a basic drill. And then the conveyor belt transports your resources. But where do they get stored in though? That's the question. I'll get a conveyor belt, I guess. Why not? And then, uh, what does that say? Seven, that, well, pff, whatever. Okay, here's a drill. We finally got the drill. We could have had the drill probably a long time ago. Oh well. Let's see here. Hmm. I am assuming a chest because it doesn't have like a storage thing. So a chest is easy. I could probably just empty out one of these. Yeah, this only has like a little bit of stuff in it. Let me do just a little bit of inventory sorting because I am running out of space very quickly. Okay. And I might go ahead and put these in here. I also am running out of room in my... thing for different slimes and stuff. I guess I'll have to put 
some of these up here or something. Also, I'm going to put up some seeds real quick. Okay, there's that. There we go. So we got that. Let's grab us a chest. That, that, the, th the funny thing is, you never, I never see any recipes for any different kind of chest. There's always the, like the chest up here. Well, whatever. We just need a chest, whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's go see if we can find us a copper node somewhere. So I'm assuming the tin drill, like here's one right here. Okay. So, oh yeah, we got more slimes. Not a big deal though. Oh, I had forgotten. We need. I forgot that we need to get an actual motor. So let's get some more copper out. Don't really need copper, but we might as well. Uh, I need to build a motor, which is right here. It pains me to see that I could have had a motor. A long time ago a, a drill and yeah I want to build two I bet the crew drill will at least do can very slowly drill through tougher materials such as ore builders when powered with electricity 30 mining damage it doesn't say hmm I bet it will do at least copper and tin Maybe iron. But other than that, probably not. Ah, uh, y'all are in my way. Alright. Okay, we got the motor. First of all, we'll put the drill, like I guess. Okay, and I guess we just simply need a motor. Alrighty. But, what about the conveyor belt though? Hmm. Uh, maybe I don't want to go in that way. But why is it going that way, though? Hmm. Hmm. It's just facing downward for some reason. Is there a way to change that? Hmm. Maybe we'll just have it going downward into a chest, I don't know. I'm not sure how it works exactly. Well, I do have more conveyor belts. Let's see how that works. It is a very slow drill, but I mean, collectively, it should get us some ores. Hmm. Just wanted to see it pop out another ore. Well. I'm just going to leave that be for now and then see if I need to arrange the conveyor belts or something some other way. I don't know how else to do it. I could I guess I could put one more here or something. Anyway, we got a drill. I didn't realize we could have had a drill until now. 
But it is what it is. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and eat real quick. I'm getting hungry again. All right. We'll let that do its thing. I'm probably going to need a really good drill in order to have one that has a good amount of efficiency. This one's a bit better. But I'm going to say this is one of those things that's going to require a lot of uh, time to just gradually get resources from. I don't know how well it will be, how good it will be. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get in here, away from the slimes. So we have got some octarine armor. We have got a drill that I didn't know I could have already had. I'm going to look real quick before I end the episode what else I might have been missing out on. Oh yeah, feeding trough. I remember that. Back in the beginning of the series, I wasn't paying too much attention to all these extra workbenches. I was simply concentrating on getting the anvil for armor and stuff. And a few things caught my attention. Oh, there's a loom over here. Turn that into costumes. Hmm. Ah, oh, why not? Let's make that real quick. I, I probably will never think about it. Let's grab some... We've got wool now. Let's go over here. A loom, isn't it right over here? A loom. Does it require anything? I do not know. I got a lot of... Uh, which I'm going to be glad to have uh, more inventory equipment space. Oh yeah, we can make stuff. <laughs> a suit jacket. We can also make a pillow for the floor. A rug. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff that we really don't need. And I don't want to use wool for, for sure. But it's there. Okay, I'm going to put... I got a lot of inventory sorting to do, so... Anyway, what do we need to do next? That is the question. We need definitely more resources. I would like to get the Galaxite Anvil, which would mean we'll have to travel to the east and get some more Galaxite. We are getting low on Scarlet. And we are low on Octarine. I have a little bit more than I thought, but still not as much as I would like to have. But it looks like we're going to have to wait for now. So anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. So thank you for watching this episode of Core Keeper. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your support and everything. It does mean a lot. All the subscriptions, all the comments and everything just want to thank you all for that so anyway y'all hope you have a good one out there take care out there and i hope to see you all in the next video